Hey, Zoomer, are you ready to repent from this? <laughs> and this? Good, because I'm here to rehabilitate you. Me and this little beauty right here. She's called Gunsmith Cats, and if she can't turn you into a red-blooded American, then nothing can. It's got cars, it's got babes, it's got a whole lot of guns. So let me break it all down for you, little Zoomy. Gunsmith Cats the manga was written and illustrated by Kenichi Sonoda, but we're here to talk about the anime adaptation by Takeshi Mori. The American version was originally released in 1996, but all three episodes of the OVA only made it over here in 2001. So let's get into this little show and see if I can pull you away from Bell Dolphin and Arbor Dant for long enough to show you something good. Now the girls. What? You like this? And this? And I mean, she's kind of cute, but I don't, I don't know nothing about that show. Anyway, Rally Vinson is cool as she is cute, proficient with every firearm known to man, and her smarts match her shooting. She drives a sick <laughs> Mustang GT500 and hates gun laws, which instantly makes her my infinity waifu, 100 out of 10. Mini Mae. Look, Mini Mae was 17 in the manga, then 18 in the American release, then 17 again. I don't even know about the anime release. My point is I don't want to talk about Mini Mae. Other than to say that some of you underage zoomies may have the hots for her, and I'll leave that to you. No answer out of 10. Becky Farah. Somehow this nerdy chick knows everything going on in Chicago's underworld. She's a career woman, so she'll probably be cool splitting the bill once in a while, and her glasses say that she probably won't mind when you babble about your bitcoins. Also, she drives a BMW 2002, so you know she's tasteful. 8 out of 10. Natasha Radinov. Do you like mommy dummies? Like mean Russian chicks that definitely don't mind stepping on your face? Are you a Tom Dark viewer and Hot Topic enjoyer? Maybe the former KGB agent turned freelance assassin Natasha Radinov is your cup of tea. She uses a literal gun knife, and if that phallic symbol doesn't get yours going, then I just don't know what to tell you, bud. I'm scared out of 10. My wife Shelly always says that boys don't grow up, they just get bigger toys. I don't know about none of that, since I can't hear her over the sound of this here zero turning radius Kubota mower, Rally has a little something like that. Oh, except it's that badass Mustang Cobra GT500. They even shipped one over from the state so that they could record all of the sounds straight out of the car. There's that clean BMW 2002 as well, as well as some other hidden treats in there for the car guys among you. Still, it wouldn't be gunsmith cats without the guns. That's like trying to grill with the boys, but there was a mistake and Frank brought those Beyond Beef patties and now you're just all disappointed. Point is that there's a lot of guns and the show does them justice. Here's just a little sample thanks to the Internet Movie Firearms Database. Rally's gun is a CZ-75. Natasha has a Norinco Type 82-2, a Wellrod, and a Heckler & Koch VP-70. Not to mention the Mossberg 500 Bullpup, which I don't even know about, but it's cool shit. The show. So now that you know about the important stuff, is the framework there? Is it a competent story? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to get into any spoilers here because you can literally just go watch it on YouTube, but you should be thinking buddy cop action the whole way. The characters are all memorable and likable. The soundtrack is filled with groovy cowboy bebop-esque tunes, the animation quality is solid for the time, and has that delicious 90s character you just can't get anymore. The story itself is well paced and has enough turns to keep you tuned in, and at just an hour 30 minutes, even the most social media addled Zoomer can get into it. So I hope you do enjoy. Now get out of my garage, Zoomer, I've got a lawnmower to work on. Yup. <laughs>